ADHD is defined as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. ADHD is a neurodevelopmental disorder that occurs in children, teens, adults, and the core symptoms are inattention. These symptoms can appear at home, work or school, or in any social gathering. Some of these symptoms are making careless mistakes, lacks attention to details, has difficulty paying attention to task, seems to not listen when spoken to directly, has difficulty organizing tasks and activities, avoids dislike or is reluctant to participate in tasks requiring sustained mental effort, loses things necessary for tasks or activities, easily distracted by other things including unrelated thoughts, forgetful in daily lives. So, during my research, I have found that ADHD is somewhat related to the vagus nerve that runs in our body from top to bottom, from brain all the way to the to our spine, bottom of the spine, and microbiome. That there's some gut bacteria that we eat or that we, we have in our system and also there might be a connection between the energy chakras seven seven uh, prominent energy chakras which might be blocked for some reason or the other so we're going to talk about these three items vagus nerve microbiome and the seven chakras in detail and see what can we do to clear them, unclog them, make the energy center better and help with the ADHD. Let us learn today what is microbiome. Microbiome means all microbiota or microbes that thousands of different tiny species living together in our body along with fungi, parasites, and viruses. In a healthy person, these bugs coexist peacefully with the largest numbers found in small and large intestine, but also throughout the body. The microbiome is even labeled a sporting organ because it plays so many key roles in promoting the smooth daily operation of the human body. Each person has an entirely unique network of microbiota that is originally determined by one's DNA. The microbiome consists of microbes that are both helpful and potentially harmful as well. Most are symbiotic where both human body and the microbiota benefit and some in smaller numbers are pathogenic promoting diseases. In a healthy body, pathogenic and symbiotic microbiota or microbiome coexist without problems. But if there is a disturbance in that balance brought on by infectious illnesses, certain diets or prolonged use of antibiotic or other bacteria destroying medication, dysbiosis occurs stopping these normal interactions. As a result, the body may become more susceptible to a disease. So what we have to do is find a way to increase the microbiota or microbes, microbiome in our body which will help our immune system and potentially synthesizes some foods into vitamins and amino acid which will benefit our body. Sugars like table sugar and, and, and milk sugar are quickly absorbed in the upper part of the small intestine but more complex carbohydrates like starches and fibers are not as easily digested. There the microbiota help to break down these compounds with their digestive enzyme. The microbiota of a healthy person will also provide protection from pathogenic organisms that enter the body such as through drinking or eating contaminated water or food. Probiotic plays a very important role in our body. 
if the microbiota or microbiome are so vital to our health, how can we ensure that we have enough or the right type? You may be familiar with probiotics or perhaps already using them. These are either foods that are naturally containing microbiota or supplement pills that contain live active bacteria. So I will suggest that along with the, some dietary changes, we must add probiotics to our diet to get good microbiome into our system. Because this diet can affect one's microbiota. So we got to eat food which are good to our health. So where I suggest that we add green leaf vegetables or spinach etc to our our diet along with what you are already eating because spinach converts the nitrate that it has in it into nitric oxide and nitro oxide is very crucial for our body to increase the metabolism and helps burn the fat at the same time help clean up the blood vessel so the blood is easily available to the brain. So now you learn about microbiome and their impact on our body and our brain. So let's learn the second element that impacts the brain, which is the vagus nerve. This is the longest nerve wandering around through our body from brain all the way down to the bottom of the spine. And the vagus nerve plays a very crucial role in our nervous system, specifically the parasympathetic branch of our autonomic nervous system. While the sympathetic branch of the autonomic nervous system is responsible for your fight or fight response, the parasympathetic branch regulates the rest and the digest and provides feeling of calm and safety. The vagus nerve also establishes communication between your brain and your gut and therefore has been the subject of extensive studies relating to mind-body connection. When the vagus nerves get stimulated, feelings of relaxation take over. Your heart rate decreases and breathing slows down. Vagal stimulation can happen naturally due to input from your environment, but you can also stimulate the vagus nerve through various techniques. So we're gonna talk about those techniques in just a few minutes so that now you know that the two areas that we need to work on to improve your ADHD are improving your microbiome bacteria in your body and stimulating your vagus nerve. All right, let's now go to the exercise, see how we can help. All right, guys, let's learn so about there some of the There's exercises a that we can between do to stimulate the brain our function. vagus nerve. The very first we, uh, one is just our gut breathing. But sit eat quietly and deep breathing. Also, try to do six we, uh, breaths on the vagus in one nerve. minute. So this is connection between the vagus nerve stimulation, chakras, our out. energy centers, and micro guts. We have to let it out from your mouth. Learn how to balance so, all the three things. Deep breathe. That's one. Clear Number the clogs, two. It's just clear humming. The blockages, so you can pick up better. any tune of a song you, you know and very just start better. humming. Very soon. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh, Lots seriously. Of if you know do re mi fa sol la ti, you just hum that. Mm -hmm. Deep breathe. Close your ears with your fing index fingers. Mm. That's humming. Number three, I will suggest you start taking cold showers. So what I do is when I go into showers, I just have it on warm and I slowly start turning that knob to the cold. So by the time I'm done with the shower I have taken a cold shower that'll help chanting another one that's number four so 
pick up the word like om and just chant om you can pick up any other word which you like lamb just going into your room closing your eyes thinking of a beautiful place which you have visited sometime in the past think of that and just enjoy just go into trance just start thinking that beautiful scenery that you create in your mind when you get up in the morning do hugging hug your mom your dad your sister your brother your lover your spouse hugging hugging absolutely helps singing definitely helps if you don't know any song doesn't matter whatever however you can sing it's okay just sing it out and the last is listen to music go into your room and listen to the music just turn the music on calm music absorb the music in you You're just in trance with the music. So now that we have learned some of the exercises that you can stimulate vagus nerve, let's learn a little bit about how we can stimulate the chakras, the energy center that we have, which will definitely help us more with the vagus nerve stimulation. All right, so let's go to chakras. chakra is an energy center in a perfectly healthy person the seven chakras or seven energy energy centers work in unison to create life force energy body mind and the spirit benefit from balanced chakras or balanced energy center in addition each chakra has its own symbol color and meaning that's all the basic information we need to know The chakra points make up a straight line starting at the bottom of your spine and end at the crown of your head. And there are seven chakras in total: the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plex chakra, the heart chakra, the throat, the third eye and the crown chakra. So we're going to talk about these chakras one at a time. The very first one is the root chakra. The color is red. the location is at the bottom of the tailbone and the official name chakra muladhara actually is translate as root and the support this chakra's role is to connect all of your physical bodily energy with earth itself in other words this chakra really grounds you this chakra is also linked to everything we need to survive including breathing eating sleeping and experiencing physical security The next chakra is called sacral chakra and the color of the chakra is orange. The location is in your pelvic region a couple of inches below your belly button. Also known as a place of the self, the sacral chakra is therefore all about your creative identity as human. It helps you enjoy your life here on earth. It is the energy that motivates you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. The next chakra solar plex A yellow in color in your stomach around 2 to 3 inches above your belly button and below your rib cage this chakra the warrior chakra they call it this is because this is by far the most powerful sporting chakra of bravery and boundary setting the next chakra is the heart chakra is the green in color in location is in the chest and in and around the heart space interestingly the sanskrit term for the heart chakra translate to the state of being unhurt because of this when you are experiencing feeling of love compassion and kindness it is this energy center that you are connecting to throat chakra is a sky blue color right in the middle of your throat carrying the meaning of words very pure this chakra helps you 
quiet literally speak up because this you will do so in smooth confident authentic way the next chakra is called the third eye chakra locations between the eyebrows extending to your brain pineal gland the infamous third eye chakra roughly translated as beyond wisdom this is because this mystic energy center opens you up to expanded state of consciousness they go away beyond the five senses and the material world we live in the next one is the crown chakra is violet and white at the very top of your head resting on your crown according to the most tantric yoga tradition the final chakra translate as a thousand petal this refers to its beautiful petal laden symbolism it connects you to the pure consciousness connecting to the universe this complete universe is also known as om and is quite literally nothing personal chakras can get clogged and cause numerous problems in our daily life so we need to unclog them it just think of a a stream of water flowing from the mountain so stream of water will be like your vagus nerve going from brain all the way to the bottom of your spine and on the way if it the stream is blocked with huge blocks of rocks the flow will be constricted so there'll be water won't be coming down down on the on the on the on the stream so these giant rocks in our life can be related to work stress financial turmoil poor diet low esteem suppressed anger illness grief heartbreak rejection resentment fear anxiety stubbornness tunnel tunnel vision denial so we get need to unblock these energy centers and the vagus nerve is connecting all these chakras and so that means if we can unclog these energy center we can stimulate the vagus nerve which is affecting our brain which is connected to the ADHD i spoke about in the beginning of the session so let's let's see how we can unclog these so i have a particular small very simple exercise to unblock these seven energy centers all right so we are going to activate the seven chakras by reciting do re mi fa so la ti so you can take a deep breath and say the whole do re mi fa so la ti and then take a deep breath again and then continue the process so you can do it five times ten times whatever you wish i'm going to do it once and leave it there and you have to visualize the color as we pass through i have mentioned the colors on the screen So here we go. Take a deep breath. Do. there you have it there's a connection between how the brain function we are our guts what we eat and also we are of the vagus nerve so there's a connection between the vagus nerve stimulation chakras our energy centers and the micro guts we have to learn how to balance all three these three clear the clogs clear the blockages and feel better i hope you feel very better very soon very quickly lots of love goodbye